All right, guys, I just landed in Grenada. I'm so excited and it's such a pretty landing when you guys get here, you you land right next to the water. So it's just such a beautiful landing. Um, I did rent a car while I was here. Just so you guys know, they charge you $24 USD when you get here for a driver's license. Um, that's valid in Grenada. So you're paying for a driver's license, even though you have a driver's license in the United States, they charge you for another one in Grenada. It's $24 USD. Uh, the woman at the rental car company gave me change, so you know, just as a heads up. Um, today I'm going to go meet my friend Alexander. We're going to stay on his boat called Honey To on uh, Prickly Bay Marina. We're going to a chocolate estate, a chocolate, it's really like a chocolate factory or a chocolate, I don't know, like a chocolate shop, but it's called Belmont Estate. Um, so we're going to go look at that. I'm super excited for that. And I left all of my clothes in the dryer at my last Airbnb in Trinidad. <laughs> so I'm also going to be going to the Spiceland Mall to go buy more clothes. Other than that though, while I'm here, I'm gonna be getting some nutmeg and some spices because if you don't know, Grenada is called the Spice Island because there's all kinds of natural spices that grow here. Um, other than that though, I'm just gonna be hanging out and kind of enjoying uh, these next couple days that I have. And um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to come along with me. Also you guys, this rental car, it was $100 USD per day. And I bought insurance that includes the insurance, $100 a day. And the insurance doesn't cover tires if one of your tires goes out. And I kind of hassled them, and maybe I shouldn't have, but I I really like cracked down on that because, I mean, what if they charge you five hundred thousand dollars USD for you know a brand new tire? I don't I don't know how much they're going to charge me for a tire if one of my tires accidentally goes out. Um, and they gave me a car with really bad tires too, so I, I'm a little bit nervous. I I'm I have a little bit of a trust issue when it comes to rental car companies just because I've been. Um, ripped off so many times before in the past so I don't know it, I mean it, that's just kind of, kind of as a heads up if you guys come here um, I don't know if you guys are the same as me but when I buy full coverage I really want it to cover every single thing in the car I don't want to be responsible for anything um, but yeah evidently if you rent from economy cars here uh, for their full coverage insurance it doesn't cover the tires which is obviously the first thing to go out on the car when you hit a pothole because there are a lot of potholes in um, the Caribbean and these islands. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Um, but right now... But it's, it's bad hiking weather. So the problem with hiking in Grenada... It's too hot. It's, well, up in the mountains it's not too hot, but it's too muddy. Oh, so okay. it's like really muddy. I mean, it's like it rains... just go anywhere you want around here. I don't know. There's no ticket. It might be like an official tour. Yeah. Uh, no one's trying to sell us on it. So I think, I think if we just sort of walk around, it might be a good it chocolate factory chocolate that way. Factory. Yeah, I think it's where those other people were walking to. Chocolate factory is a good idea. <laughs> There's a restaurant. Wow, this place has a lot. This is really cool. All right, guys, and here is the chocolate factory. Them. Yeah. But they're 
<laughs> this one's friendly. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, 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 oh. hello. Jim, look at you. Oh, don't bite though. <laughs> no biting. <laughs> oh. You guys, these monkeys are called the Mona monkey, and they're so sweet. <laughs> they're so cute. Aww. Are you having fun? No, it's working. Okay. Oh man. This is a fresh Can fruit. Can you eat it? Just... Well, just suck on it. Yeah. Tell me what it tastes like. You go ahead. Both, okay. both of you. One inch. Oh, wow. Oh, God. No, oh. It's very uh, slippery. So, here, give me a check. I'll, I'll give you one. Inside of a cocoa pod. Cocoa pod. The bean is what you're holding. This is the bean. Okay. So, you bite into yours? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the inside mm. now, you reckon? Great. Great. Citrus. Not like chocolate. No. And you go inside of it, bite open, mm -hmm. like my friend here. This is your nib, N I B. And this is what's going to be used for making the actual chocolate. Mm -hmm. My friend, at that stage, it would be super intense or bitter, but it's loaded with antioxidants. So if it's you sweet can, when you chew on it. Feel free, you could chew up on. If it's too much, did you it bite into it? It's better when you bite into it. You have it? Mm -hmm. Everything of it? So I just decided to give you a we're here at the Belmont Estate and there's a giant bell. I'm gonna ring it. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a little bit more climactic. climactic. Oh, oops. <laughs> do you want to do it? I was walking right past. That was awkward. Oh, okay. oh well. What's Anyways. Cool? What it means is that the tourists decided to ring the bell. This is really fun, you guys. I went and got some nutmeg and some chocolate from the chocolate factory, and I think we're going to... Where are we going next? You want to go see goats? Uh, yeah, we can go see the goats, or we can go up here, just take a quick look, and, and then head back down. Or we can oh. go straight to the goats if you want. I'm going to run to the restroom really quick, and then we'll go to the goats if you want to, or I, I don't care. Oh, it smells really fresh in here. Uh, so this is, uh, 
Wow. Ago, this is they sell it in the markets. Is it tamarind? It's not tamarind. No. It's not sour sop either. It's something else. You can get big bags of it. It's usually bright purple and a lot better. Yeah. Oh, here's the fresh nutmeg. This looks really good. Got some nutmeg. Nutmeg that went to hell. Those are the bad nutmegs. I guess those are the bad those nutmegs. Those are the bad nuts. Yeah. There's not a lot else in here. There's more drying racks on the other side. I think this one might just be, we might just not have too much in here right now, but. This is so cool to see. This smells really good. I don't know what this stuff is, but it smells really good. It smells like spices. And there's another drying rack over there. All the second process. It is called drying. This is our drying area. Old traditional method is still used. The new system for drying cocoa I have in this guy's house. Mm -hmm. um, no cocoa out here, but just a quick demonstration. <laughs> cocoa oh, wow. will be placed on that wooden tray. We pull out at morning to start. End of the day's work for case it rain anytime within the eight to four hour back in there okay. each row two trays hmm. top ones bottom ones no problem with birds insects they don't like they keep away from it oh five to eight days out here condition of the weather to every half an hour removing shoes socks get into the train and walk not to crush but more like turn them oh. single and separate Alex, what, what did you think of everything on the Belmont Estate? Very good, very yeah. good. Yeah, I thought the chocolate was flavorful and delicious, and the uh, educative tour was wonderful. Yeah, it was a really cool place. If you guys are here in Grenada, I would definitely check out Belmont Estates. Um, and it's free, too. You don't even have to pay anything. There's no tickets, or you can just kind of walk up and see the animals and get some chocolate. So we drove past this cute little church. And I just think this is going to be a really great lookout point. So I wanted to stop and go inside. Oh, there's people inside. There's people inside. I think it might be a school in session, but it's possible that we can. Oh, this is. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, this is. His Excellence. I think this is a school. I don't think it's a church. Well, I think it's a church. This is also a school. Oh, okay. This is pretty. Yeah. Is, uh, I think there's a big resort. There's somebody there. get. You can see some of these little islands. Oh yeah, you can see a little island right out there. This is a really cool lookout point, you guys. Yeah, I didn't even realize you get the good ocean view to the south too. Yeah. That looks like a nice estate right there, whatever that place is. So big driveway going up to it. Mm -hmm. nice yeah, the northern part of Grenada is really nice. There's a lot to do here. All right, guys, we're at River Sally Boiling Springs. Ah, I guess it's the 48th independence for Grenada. Or Grenada. <laughs> It's all natural. You can actually go in here and bathe in here if you want to. But we do a lot for everybody, thin joints, everything make you so feel so free and relax. Oh wow. Come on, make spin the south. So yes, that's the main one right there. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh man, this is the south. Wow. South of the foot, dry skin, dry stuff, sun, water, water, mask, it's too 
bites. Yeah. Any type of dust is a brush. Oh wow. You take care of it. And you are nice, smooth, get your biscuit. The biscuit goes smooth and goes soft. Okay. And the water is warm. Uh -oh. The water is not warm. It's actually not warm, it's like the room temperature water. Well. Yeah, it's a well. Yeah, cool. That's cool. Oh, this is neat. I would take the last thing and rinse you up. Yeah. yeah. That would take some cocoa butter, the oil. Oh, okay. I'll show you the Ah, okay, okay. Pure yeah. chocolate. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, cool. Cool. Be cool. Yeah. Oh, you do? Wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay. no I was saying I want to keep moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grenada. It's really, really beautiful. Look at all these waves. So gorgeous. I sailed when I sailed from Kiriakou. I sailed past those rocks and down the other side. So that. That is the tip of. Do you just call it Curacao? I think it's called Curacao. Okay, so I don't. We don't know Curacao, how to pronounce it. Curacao, near you know. Aruba. Near Aruba. Yeah. Not to be confused with Curacao. That's not me okay. super ignorantly saying the word Curacao. It's I think it's actually called Curacao. Okay. That's how it's spelled, I think. You can take a ferry out there to that other island if you want to. Curacao might also be called, but I doubt it. Sounds too weird. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can take a ferry there for sure. This is a really pretty place. Yeah, it's really nice. You guys, I got some fruit punch. We're at this place called Spice Affair in Grenada. And I am so excited. It's, um, of course, an Indian restaurant, so I think it's going to be really, really good. just driving around um, in St. George. I'm just headed to a restaurant right now, but all of the buildings are really nice here in Grenada. Um, definitely easy to drive in, not too many potholes. There's a couple, of course, but not, um, not an overbearing amount. Um, driving on the left, again, it's a little bit difficult if you're not used to it, but the traffic here is really slow and really easy. So yeah, definitely a, a fun place to go explore. Um, I would definitely recommend renting a car though. There is a local bus. Um, I just don't know 
I don't know if you would really want to do it. The, the rentals are probably going to be, I don't know, maybe like a hundred dollars a day here. Um, I don't know if I would take the public transportation here. I, I've heard it's not completely reliable. Um, might have just been that one person's opinion. So like I said, I haven't taken the buses, but um, I don't know. It, you, you probably could. At least there is a public transportation system uh, here if you don't want to rent a car. So you could kind of do either or. Um, Spiceland Mall is around this area too. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff if you need extra clothes or um, iPhone charger. Um, they kind of have a little bit of everything. So that's a really good place to go shop at. Other than that, everything else is, it's really nice. It's a great island to go visit. Um, really, really highly recommend it if you guys get a chance to. You guys look at that little lizard. These are everywhere in Grenada. I'm gonna try to get out and get a better video of it. Hopefully it doesn't run away. Don't tell me about it, look. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house